Hi, my name is Keanu Naidu. And I'm Sachin Lagu, and this is our project PVLC in harsh weather conditions. Vehicle visible light communication is an energy efficient and wireless vehicle to vehicle communication system dependent on line of sight. It's used in intelligent transport systems for road safety and for location data for better traffic management. A scaled model of a VVLC system was created using Lambert's cosine rule. This rule allows for the intensity of light to be calculated at different angles. Using Lambert's cosine rule, it was observed that the same luminance of a car headlight at 10 meters could be obtained with 13 LEDs at a distance of 47 centimeters. A model luminance was measured at 150 candela per meter squared. Thus, we simulated 11 meters with a distance of 54 centimeters, giving us a scale of 1 is to 20. This is our test bed. It has three chambers. The actual dimensions are 1.2 meters by 40 centimeters. Our three chambers are one for the transmitter circuit, one for the weather, and one for the receiver circuit. We put the circuits in the chamber to avoid light pollution and we painted the box black to avoid sunlight from going through the box and to prevent reflections of light within the chamber. In order to simulate humidity, we use the humidifier placed within the box. In order to control the actual humidity and the wind, we use this control circuit. The sensor we're using, we've basically built this little section for it here so that it sits between the transmitter and receiver, hence giving us the most accurate results. Now, with the circuit. Say we on um, the humidity is rising in the box right now, and once we increase the value, say we want seventy percent, the humidity will rise, and it'll be within plus or minus two percent. Once it goes above that, the fan will start. The purpose of this project was to find out whether or not the weather chamber we created has memory within it. Hence, we needed a memory model. We used the Fitchman model. It has five states: four good and one bad. Here are the transition matrices below. We use the bomb watch algorithm to calculate our model given an error sequence. We also needed a statistical model to compare with, hence we used an IID curve, which uses a bit error rate from the experimental data. In simulating our results, we used three test cases using 70, 80, and 90% with no wind, a slow wind speed of 6 meters per second, and a high wind speed of 16 meters per second. The results take the form of an error-free run distribution which is the probability of transitioning to M or more consecutive free states. Here are the results for case 1 showing 70% humidity and 90% humidity. A communication channel is said to be unusable if the bit error rate exceeds 0.1. Here we can see both our bit error rates are much lower. Upon observing the curves, we can see that our statistical model does not match the experimental and memory model perfectly. This shows that there is some sort of memory within the channel that the statistical model does not take into account. Observing the second curve, we can see that the error between the model and the statistical model is much lower. This shows that there is less memory within the channel. Here are the results for case 2 and 3. Upon observing case 3, we can see a channel with very little memory as both the statistical and memory model both match the experimental Thanks for watching everyone and I hope you enjoyed our presentation. Special thanks to our supervisor Professor Ling Cheng and co-supervisor Sharman for all their guidance.